you guys read the title, you know what I'm going to talk about. Bina deserves better in this boss fight. I mean, seriously. Holy cow. Elena, where are your passives? You have none. Vermilion Cross. Oh, wait, you have none either. You have good combat pages, but wait, you only have three? What? Just why? And you don't even have a full deck, so... Oh, my God. And you, yeah. Like, seriously. I understand Project Moon was under time constraints, but this is the worst boss fight, in my opinion. The absolute worst boss fight. There's, like, zero strategy for this. Just none at all. All you do on the first turn is try and kill Elena as quickly as possible, and then you switch over to Vermilion Cross. That's it. That's pretty much it. The only other thing you gotta be careful of is when he does that, then you win the fight. Congratulations. You are a skilled gamer. Which... It's annoying. Like, probably finish out the deck, give Elena some passives. What about a good start? And then after that, probably lean into her bloodline mechanic. Like, I... Alright, I need to go in. I need to do one side attacks on him as well. Because we gotta get rid of Obstruct. Like, you could have set it up so where... If she ever wins a clash, create a blood feed or something. Just, just anything. Any passive. Like, blood fiends. If you heal enough, gain strength. Or if you lose clashes. Hell, I think even Bremen is even better than this. At least Bremen has a fleshed out boss. Anywho, um... But yeah, you have zero tools to deal with Bina. Where she has pretty much everything she needs to beat her. Like, they should have ramped up the difficulty. That was the other thing. Because Bina had the hardest boss fights overall. In Library of Ruin. I don't think anyone else will argue with that. She has the h hardest abnormality fight I think most people will rage over. She has... Mm, what what should I call it? Her abnormalities are very annoying to fight because they're all insta-kills. And then we get this joke of a boss. Like, ugh. Like, seriously, something could have been done. Do I know why exactly? Not sure. But at least something. I could have killed her this turn as well. Oh well, she'll die at the very start of next scene. When the abnormalities you choose are... It doesn't matter. Like really, this... Just why? I know I'm not speedrunning this because I'm lazy, but holy cow. Like, this is still the same tactic. You just get as much smoke on Elena as possible, and then you just kill everyone else. Let me start with one. <laughs> and the only time this... This attack is good. Holy cow. And the protection helps against him. So even if you do mess up and he gains strength for whatever reason, you're still okay. But my god. Uh, I really would have liked to see what an actual boss fight against Elena would be. I know Don Quixote's, um, don't take this abnormality page for a speedrun, just don't. 
And whenever you kill the boss, this music plays, which is really nice. I know Don Quixote's coming up for... And her being a bloodletter and all that, but... You could have done... Something with bloodletting here. That isn't just game one strength. You had options. And he chose not. Like, this boss fight actually makes me mad. Like, seriously mad. Just so much wasted potential. I really would like to hear your guys' take on this, personally. I know this was a quick fight, but holy cow. Like, seriously, what could Project Moon have done? Which is pretty much anything at this point. Just anything would have been better than this. I know this is less of a tutorial than me ranting about this stupid boss fight, but... It should not be a boss fight.